It's nighttime, and Flash the leopard gecko is shedding her skin. She has just freed her head by rubbing it against an overhanging rock. She licks her leg to moisten the skin, letting it separate from the new layer of skin underneath more easily. Around one week ago, the gecko's body started producing a fluid between the two outermost layers of skin to act as a lubricant, helping the shedding process. Now she is using her teeth to tear off the old skin. Her leg is now free, but it slides underneath her old belly skin and gets caught. She must free herself quickly, as hungry predators such as monitor lizards and other reptiles can easily attack her in this vulnerable state. But first, she needs to rest to regain her strength. Shedding is a common phenomenon found throughout the animal kingdom. Unlike humans, who regularly shed small flakes of skin, most reptiles shed their whole outer layer of skin in one go. In leopard geckos, this occurs roughly once a month, but more frequently in rapidly growing juveniles. A few days before the skin is shed, the outer layer loosens, fading the colors of the gecko. Rubbing against rough surfaces such as rock is the best way to loosen and rip the skin. Flash is also wiggling her tail to stretch and squash different areas of old skin, creating small tears that can be used to rip larger pieces of skin. Without these small holes, the gecko cannot grab hold of the skin with her teeth. Tearing the skin with her leg has not worked, so she licks the skin to soften it. Her front leg is now ripping through the softened skin, and she rubs herself against a rock. Flash is becoming desperate and tired, as shedding is a fatiguing process. Leopard geckos need to keep their energy consumption low as food is scarce, but a special adaptation allows them to survive for weeks without eating. They store fat in their thick tails, which they can drop if a predator attacks, providing them with a long-term store of energy. Flash is eating her old skin, as it contains useful minerals such as calcium. Leopard geckos let nothing go to waste, not even water. Instead of urinating, they produce solid urates full of uric acid and unneeded substances. Now that Flash has finished shedding, she returns to her cave. The next morning, Flash re-emerges out of her hideaway to synthesize vitamin D3 using UVB in the light. Vitamin D3 is used to store and utilize calcium, which is vital for bone and tooth growth. Flash has just consumed a very large amount of calcium from her shed skin, so needs to synthesize new vitamin D3 to make use of it. After a tiring night of shedding, Flash now needs to return to her cave to rest and avoid predators. When dusk arrives, she will hunt insects to regain energy. Thank <laughs> you.